National Council for Higher Education organized a three-day exhibition themed Enhancement of Teaching, Learning and Assessment of ODL in Higher Education. The exhibition was opened by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taiwa, who represented the Speaker, Anita Monk. We must have a policy as government and chairman education committee, I give you this assignment, of zero rating education websites. <laughs> hmm? We need, there are services which, which in, you know, telecom companies and internet service providers are making a lot of money out of us sending our photos of Nyege Nyege, uh, uh, dancing Pacacini and all that. Now, part of the profit, let it be ceded to helping the education sector. That's an investment. That's an investment. So we need to push for a policy of zero rating of education uh, and educative websites. You access them internet free. Taiwa recommends infrastructure development to facilitate affordability of e-learning. He believes this will widen the scope of literacy rate in Uganda as highlighted in the National Development Plan 3. You need to have a forum like how you created the RENU, okay, to subscribe to e-libraries and you share. Yeah, you share. Why should the Indeji have its own e-library? McKinney is its own e-library, you know, and yet it's just it's unlimited access for a number of students. It's but its own e-library. Why not, you know, contribute resources depending on the number of students you have, and then you share the e-library. The congregation of these heads of institutions intends to rally them towards adoption of open distance and e-learning and assessment mode of training in post-secondary institutions. The theme of this year's exhibition, Enhancement of Teaching, Learning and Assessment with Open Distance and E-Learning or DEL in Higher Education is appropriate. This year's exhibition aims at showcasing the capacities developed during the implementation of the emergence or their system. National Council for Higher Education has pointed out challenges affecting the process of education transformation from the traditional mode of teaching to modern methods to meet the dynamics and competitive education sector. The majority of institutions were not approved to implement this system, in brief the, uh, we, we call it ODEL, uh, because of various constraints including affordability of internet and ICT equipment. We therefore request, Honorable Speaker, that Parliament intervenes by ensuring that costs of internet are affordable, also that uh, nationwide internet connectivity covers even the hard to reach areas in the country the three-day universities and other higher institutions of learning exhibition centered on creating a sustainable platform for Ugandan young innovators and researchers towards building